Huh. Wouldn't you know, we found ice up in northern Wisconsin once again. I am doing my tradition with Nick from NB Edits right here in the background. He's getting ready. Say hi, Nick. This is a tradition for Nick and I to fish the same lake every year for the first ice fishing trip of the season. And today we are doing it. We found some ice and it's hard. This is some hard ice you guys just saw. I hit this ice a bunch of times with that spud bar. I didn't even get it to go through in one hit or even two hits for that matter. So it is safe, but there is a lot of ice that is also not safe yet here in Wisconsin. So you have to be extremely, extremely careful when you're going out to these lakes and searching for ice. Always be sure to have a spud bar along, some ice picks that I'm wearing right here, and then also it does not hurt to have a buddy along too when you're going out on early ice. You never know what's gonna happen, and if something does happen, you certainly do not wanna be alone. So stay safe out there. We do not wanna hear about anybody going down under the ice. Uh, there's a lot of unfortunate events happen, and we hate hearing about it. So being safe, using a spud bar, having a buddy are always critical options when you're going out on early ice. Today we did bring along the Garmin Live Scope. We got this along today. Last year Nick was giving me crap because I came here on the first trip of early ice and I didn't have my Live Scope set up. So I went ahead and made sure I had this thing off my boat this year. Got a nice brand new amped outdoors battery all charged up and ready to go to catch some fish. So target today is crappies but there is also some nice bluegills in this lake as well i know last year when we fished this lake for the first time i caught a lot of bluegills and nick caught most of the crappies so hopefully today we can get some of those nicer crappies out of this lake we're going to start at this lake do a little video here for you guys and then we might go venture around and look for some other lakes that have ice on it as well so stick with me stay tuned for this video hopefully it's a banger once again let's get this 2021 to 2022 ice season started I have a Della Bay Pan Sizzler rod here, all the way from Della Bay, Elk River, Minnesota. And I got that paired with a PC Fun Viper X 500. I have a little tungsten jig on here as well. Tungsten's gonna be pretty much the main presentation that I'm gonna be using today. These are a bunch of plastics that uh, Randy Burton actually sent over me from Hog Pours. So that's what I'm gonna be running today. I got all sorts of different colors. I've got pink, I've got motor oil, I've got green, I've got white, I've got purple. Um, but what I'm gonna be starting off with today is that little one inch pink minnow. This presentation did really well for us last year on crappies, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pair that tungsten jig up with today. Then we're gonna start fishing, so hopefully the fish are hungry. Let's go catch some fish. Massive marks. And we're hooked up. And we're hooked up. First fish of the 2021-22 ice fishing season is gonna be a crappie. a crappie. You know, it is a tradition that Nick and I always come up here and fish together for the first, pretty much the first video of ice fishing season. And it also is a tradition that I am always the first one in the hole catching the first fish. But that is a great start to the ice fishing season. Once again, just a super great looking crappie, super healthy. Um, but I did see some bigger marks down there and those are the ones that I'm really interested in targeting here. So I'm gonna put this transducer back in the hole here. And there is a plenty more on the screen where that came from. So here we have one chasing already. Smoked it. Oh, lost that one. Lost that one, we'll just go back down here. Giant school of fish right underneath me right now. Oh yeah, for sure. Got him that time. This is a nicer one. Yep. Well, it's about the same size as the first one. Put them in the sun here so you guys can see them. Super dark, great looking colors. And once again, there are more fish on the screen. So we are gonna go ahead, and continue to fish out this school while they are down there. I know a lot of times when you catch a fish, you kind of want to spend some time like looking at it or deciding if you're going to keep it. But in all reality, if you just get that bait back down to that school, you're going to keep that school interested and they're going to stick around a lot longer. Here I got some smaller fish working me right now. This one's going to be a little smaller. <sighs> yep. It's so cool that you can tell uh, just based off the marks on the live scope, you can almost just pull it away from these smaller ones and target the bigger fish that are down there. 
that is pretty much the power of live scope and what it allows you to do is um, you know really hone in on what's underneath the ice or what's underneath the boat wherever you're using it and it it just has became a very powerful tool over the years so it doesn't necessarily help you catch fish but it definitely helps you find fish this one's gonna do it got him not a giant what's that big northern this one's gonna do it get it smoked it Ooh, that's a nicer one this is the biggest one so far not like an absolute tank but if i was like keeping fish to eat this would definitely be a, a candidate nice looking fish there like i said it's not like an absolute tank but there are some tanks down there i'm seeing them on live scope right now and those are the ones that i'm trying to target but these ones are literally coming out of nowhere come and eat this minnow right now oh he's coming he ate it this looked like a giant mark it's tiny why did that mark look so big i'm disappointed in that one that mark looked giant it was just the way he was facing or the way he came in i don't know that mark looked giant there's actually two these oh they're fighting oh i'm gonna get smoked got throttled huh that mark looks so much bigger nick we're gonna get that one put back right away chase after them bigger marks but now i don't know because had some bigger marks on the screen that I thought were going to be decent fish and they're actually small. Oh, we'll take it that time. We'll take it that time. Bigger mark, not a bigger fish. Oh no. Oh, he sees it. I'm about to get smoked. Yep. Smoked it. Yeah, this is a nicer one. That's a nicer one. There we go. Nice. Hooks came right out that time. Nice looking fish there. Beautiful, beautiful colors. But I'm just excited to be on ice again catching fish. So that is definitely not the giant we are looking for. Nick came over here, um, sat down right next to me, and within like five seconds caught the giant that I was looking for. So until I get that fish, I am not leaving this spot. Look at that. Look at that freaking giant down there on the bottom right now. What is your name? Oh, you know, my name's Brandon. Just here from NB Edits, randomly jumped out on the ice. It's my lunch break, guys. Oh, look at this, look at this dude. Yeah, in I'm in my slack. nice clothes. Ready to rock. Oh, Just look at this one coming up. Comes out here and steals my rod. <laughs> it's so nice to see you, Cody. Are you having fun at least? Oh, God, dude. I love fishing this lake first ice. Nothing better, man. My GoPro died. Brandon and I were sitting here. Big fish showed up. I think, I'm, I'm not sure if I got the hook set on camera or not, but look at where that jig is. Right down its throat. Tell me this fish wasn't hungry. Demolished that tungsten jig with that hog pours minnow on there. It just feels great to be back out on the hard water catching these nice looking crappies that are in this lake up here. So thank you, Brandon, for holding the camera. I know you got to get back to work, so. Thanks again, buddy. No problem. <laughs> Woo! Woo, that one smoked it. That one smoked it. Not a tiny one, but not a giant either. There was about three fish on the screen. This one just came out, out, came up, outdid all of them and smoked that jig. Look at that. Just a great time getting up here on first ice once again for the 2021-2022 ice season. It's finally begun here in Wisconsin. So awesome fish. This might be the last one of the video, but once again, lots of fish down there. Just trying to get those bigger ones was a little bit of a struggle today. So we're gonna let this guy go. Thanks for playing, buddy. Peace. You do have the biggest fish of the day. That's true. That counts for something. Well, that being said, I am going to wrap this video up for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. it I know it wasn't uh, an absolute banger of a video, but we did get on some fish. We got on a couple nicer crappies. Nick actually caught the biggest one today. That was probably closer to like the 13 inch range. Um, a lot of my fish were kind of around that nine to 10 inch range, I would say. But 
we're gonna go to another lake that we haven't fished yet. Check it out, see if the ice is safe. If there is, you're probably gonna see another video after this one if we get into some big fish over there. So I really, really do appreciate you guys though tuning in to this video. This is my first, first ice fishing video I think on this channel to be honest with you. Most of the ice fishing content that I did last year was posted onto Tidewee's YouTube channel and then before that, it was posted over on Mindac Outdoors YouTube channel. So it's gonna be a great, great year. Really looking forward to it and uh, hanging out with these guys and the boys over in North Dakota as well. And once again, if you guys are gonna go out and search for some first ice up here in Northern Wisconsin or Minnesota or North Dakota or Southern Wisconsin, wherever it is you are, please, please, please make sure you are being safe. Uh, we took all the precautions necessary today to travel out on this lake that we fished. So just make sure that you're following all the protocols, being safe out there, and you'll definitely be successful on first ice. If you did like this video, please go down and hit that subscribe button. There's going to be a lot more videos like this in the future, hopefully the near future. And also, give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. As always, keep living your dream. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.